This project will be made for 90% of mahogany. Only for a couple of parts that uh, will not be visible I will use plywood. I'm starting by placing the first slab on the workbench and using the circular saw jig I'll make the first row cut. I'm trying to make a straight cut, however I'm not that concerned if it's not perfect since the piece will be recut in smaller pieces later. Now we will start cutting and shaping the legs. For four legs I will cut eight pieces. Uh, I will do this with a table saw, again the size will be a rough cut. Once I did the width, I'll be start cutting using a table saw sled uh, the legs, uh, the length of the legs. Again, not to the final length. Time to start jointing the first face of the leg. I use white gesso to mark the area I want to join in order to have a good reference why once I make each pass. If the gesso is not completely gone, it means that the face is not straight and I will go a second pass and a third pass if it's needed. Once the eight parts are ready, I start picking and making the couples to end up with four legs. At which point I begin to join the adjacent face without mixing the couples which I previously made. A future video project will be building a better fence system for the machine and a better in-feed and out-feed table. Now that I'm done jointing two faces, it's time to reduce the thickness to nearly final measure using the second function of this machine, which is the planer. I'm removing the dust collector and the fence. Without the fence, the dust collector can be placed on top and able to collect all the chips that come from the top side while I'm planing on the underneath. I attach the hose from the vacuum cleaner and finally uh, I set up the height of the bed uh, that I need to plane the legs. At this point I can start feeding the legs one by one. I always make sure that I pass every single part to the planer before I go back and touch the height of the bed to make sure that every part is planed at the same height. Once finished planing, it is time for the last phase of the leg, which I will cut using the table saw. I'm adjusting the height of the blade uh, to just a little bit higher than the actual piece, and I start passing each of the eight pieces through it. One final look at the various parts, making sure I will glue each couple the right way. There are a few things I check here. The wood color, the wood grain and direction. And considering my machines are really professional, I also check for imperfection and try to find the best way to hide them. Now, this is the moment where I wish I had a parallel clamps or many of them. Unfortunately right now uh, those clamps are just not in my budget so I'll probably build some when I get around and that will be a future video project. I'm using some scrap wood and kitchen clean film to create the function of a parallel clamp although thinking about it now I could have just used a straight piece of wood across all of the clamps. We are then going to spread some glue on the face of the eight pieces, well some glue or as much glue as possible and it's going to be really nicely spread uh, to avoid that there is either gaps or that some parts are higher than other parts.
once we may we put uh, the different pieces in the clamps one thing we want to make sure is that as we put pressure on the clamps glue will start be squeezing out uh, good recommendation is that you clean the glue as quickly as possible uh, it just will save you a lot of time later you saw me putting some uh, some salt on the glue to be honest, I, I don't know if it really works. Uh, I think this was the first time I did it. But the idea is that when you start clamping together, the salt will avoid the two pieces to slide because because there is glue at that point, will avoid for the two pieces to start uh, sliding all over the place. 